It's our final wine, and Michael, we'll begin with you. All right, so final wine, wine number three. It is a clean, clear, uh, it's a bright red wine. Uh, concentration is, is moderate. Uh, I'm getting a, a, mostly a ruby core, maybe just uh, some slight garnet hues in there. Uh, there's a pink, pink water line. Um, you know, I'm not seeing any gas or sediment. And the viscosity is, is moderate plus. Um, there's some decent tears coming down. And I'm noticing a light staining of the tears as well. Possibly indicating a warmer climate or um, a thicker skin gray variety. Very good. Nick? All right, on the nose. It's going to be a fun one. But I'd say the condition of this wine, just judging is it flawed or not, I don't think that it's flawed at all. Um, there is a good amount that's coming out of here. It actually places about you know medium, maybe even medium plus intensity, um, just ranging from everywhere. I also think this is a developing wine. This is a wine that's definitely starting uh, really to develop and maybe a wine that is not meant to be drunk in the first year or two, maybe in the first three years. But as far as the fruit that's coming off of it, I do get a good amount of red fruit right up front, like really bright, ripe red fruit, maybe even a little bit overripe, you know, just like right about, you know, raspberries or strawberries that are right about to fall off the vine. There's also a little bit of underripe, uh, underlying black fruit um, that's on here as well. So I'm getting a little bit of both, almost to the point of almost like a, uh, a stewed fruit or a uh, baked fruit that's on here. For earth and minerality, there is a good amount of earth coming through on here. And for this, I think it's very, very, very fertile, very, very, very black. Um, soil that's coming through on this, and it's very, it's, it's kind of apparent and just lying there. And then for me, like I mentioned uh, with the last wine, there is a little bit of vanilla coming through on this for me, which to me is always an indicator of oak, and when you know, you're smelling it, you know, it, it's always something, people ask me, well, what do you smell with the, with the wood, what do you get with the wood? It's not just, you know, smelling a tree or something like that, but usually it comes through with a little bit of those nice baking spices that you get. And I do get a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, but mostly vanilla that's coming through on this wine. So I would say that this wine does have a little bit of uh, wood to it. There's also, um, on this wine, just as far as other aromas, those other aromas that you can get, there is, it's almost like a little bit of cocoa that's coming through on here. Almost like a sweet baker's chocolate. Mm. And just a, um, a little bit of herbaceousness as well. Almost like a thyme or a parsley. But I do think that this wine is very, very nice. Very, very nice to smell. Noon? Yes, let's taste. Definitely of the sound condition, dry. Body is medium plus. When I taste it, it's brambly fruits. You get some black raspberries, a little bit of dark cherries with some pits on it, um, some pomegranate as well. Um, some uh, earth, like, you know, some kind of red red earth going on, a touch of... Um, like a clay? Yes, mm -hmm. like a clay thing going on, definitely. Um, maybe some beets, uh, some red licor licorice. Um, the tendon itself is silky, but it finishes with that clean astringency that, you know, normally indicates like a well-made red wine for me. Great. And I like that. Um, alcohol is medium, medium plus. Acidity is, you know, moderate. And I would say that the finish is lingering, um, pleasant, and uh, ling lingering, pleasant, kind of like very rounded vanilla finish. Great. So it, it definitely sounds like you know a lot of a lot of oak, um, smooth tannins, not not too coarse. Nice and you know delicious at the same time. Um, so noon, where would you? Place this wine in terms of its, you know, in terms of its climate, in terms of its region, and also potential grape grape varieties. Um, honestly, I'm going to jump the gun here because it awesome. reminded me of something that I just drank recently. It's a very well-made New World uh, Washington State Merlot. Okay. So I'm going to jump the gun here and just say it's a Washington State Merlot. Excellent. Okay. But, all right. Uh, probably around three to five years of age. And three to five years, because as Nick said, it's it's developing. It's not. It is developing. It's not just about the the fruit aromas, but it's these other things that are going on. It's not nervy. It's not jumpy. You know, everything seems to just kind of relax and come together, yeah. but it's still showing very well. It's kind of like us. Yes. Okay, that's right. Yes. Michael, what about you? Where do you place this? You know, for me, it's it's new world in style. It's very straightforward. There is 
some new look on it. Um, I love the Washington call because Washington, for me, often goes um, something in between really ripe California fruit forward styles and kind of the, the restraint that you get out of Europe. Um, so I actually think there's some Cabernet Sauvignon in here. Um, the tannins for me are pretty aggressive. Um, I got a bit of a bell pepper um, thing going on, which leads me to Cabernet Sauvignon. I think there's some Merlot as well, um, but a Bordeaux uh, grape bridal blend from the New World. Okay, great. And Nick, uh, want to finish up? To me, this wine, the entire character of the wine is New World, with the exception of the tannins. The tannins are very, very grippy, they're very, very aggressive. But just taking, kind of looking at the wine and going this much of New World and then just a little bit of the Old World, I would have to put this wine in the New World. Somebody that maybe was trained in Europe, uh, somebody that really has a lot of respect for the traditions of European winemaking, Old World winemaking. Um, and I do get with the chocolate, the red fruit, and the black fruit, I would actually have to say, um, and perhaps it could be uh, North Coast California, I think the Washington State call is very, very good, but I would say a Bordeaux blend from the as well. Okay, so you're, you're, you're in like a Napa, Sonoma, you guys are Washington firmly in Washington, Washington or? I, 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 I'm hesitant to call a region on this because in, uh, in California we had some strange vintages recently. Um, and vintage always makes it it's, makes the difference. Even so, some people say, "Oh, it doesn't matter in the new world." Vintages are so consistent. But with all the the climate change that seems to be taking place, it's hard to pinpoint a certain region as having you know, vintage to vintage consistent style. So I think it's it seems to be a cooler climate, um, which you know might be Sonoma Coast, which might be Washington State. Mm -hmm. Although Washington State gets tons of sunshine. Um, it just has this, this elegance, a little bit more finesse. It's not over the top fruit, but I think it's definitely coming from a cooler climate. Maybe a warm region, but a cooler year. Got it. Yeah. Okay, well your first choice is a uh, three-year-old Chilean Carmenere. Your second choice is a Napa Valley Merlot, possibly with some Cabernet blended in there. And uh, your last choice is a uh, Bordeaux blend. Of those, what would you uh, what would you say? I would say Napa Merlot. I'm actually happy to go with uh, Napa Merlot as well. This is, this is, this is a struggle for me. But uh, Carbonair. I, I, no, I'm not doing Carbonair. <laughs> <laughs> Carbonair, Carbonair and I are not on speaking. <laughs> um, I'll I will I will say Napa. Well, you guys nailed it. Uh, Merlot was the answer. Those dominant fruit flavors up front, um, the silky tannins, generally is gonna lead you to a, a newer world wine, but you know, obviously quite delicious. This is really good Merlot. Yeah. This is, this this is really this good is Merlot. Good as Merlot. much as people have you know, kind of pushed Merlot to the side over the past couple of years. Yes, and Merlot movies. Is a, Merlot, is a, Merlot is a great grape. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thank you.